Luke and Tom here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and today we're gonna make a survival shelter out of duct tape. Yeah! Key to making duct tape cordage is you want to keep twisting it until it untwists itself. What do you think of that? I think it's awesome. It's private flop. You want at least one twist per inch. And this is 60 feet of cordage. So that's approximately 720 inches. So you want to twist this about 720 times. If I'm really hauling butt, I can do about 80 rotations per minute. So to do 620 rotations takes about 10 minutes. Stuff is very stretchy. All right, there's one down. Wow. Hey, Becca. Uh-oh, it just broke my line. Luckily, I got some duct tape to fix that. It doesn't have to be exact. All right, I'm turning three rolls of duct tape into one giant thick cord, and it's uh, a lot more work. Pull that as hard as you can. Jumped up to you. The, the, the goat, eat that goat. Have you eat the goat? We have already used up 14 rolls of duct tape, approximately 630 yards of tape. <sighs> Day two. Well, I've been taping over my head for two hours and my shoulders are killing. Or I got the roof done, but it's saggy because the weight of the tape is pulling the walls inward, which causes it to bow in the middle. So to fix that, I am going to try to come up with some sort of support system. Holy mackerel, I just used up my 36 roll of duct tape. I thought three dozen was gonna be enough. So I'm gonna go run to the store and pick this up in a little bit. 12 more rolls of duct tape. Yeah. 
Well, I just went through another case of duct tape. That makes 48 rolls so far. I need to go to the hardware store. You guys excited to camp in this thing? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Nate, you want inside? Yeah. Oh, it supports my leg. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm six foot four and about 250 pounds. <laughs> whoa! <laughs> okay. Oh. I busted a hole in this, but that's okay. We can fix it with duct tape. I threw in some extra reinforcing. Let's see if uh, what happens now. Oh, this is more than a little scary. <laughs> oh, that roll's done. Oh, I'm so tired. Ah, woo -hoo. Design. It's just a different design. It actually Let's... looks a little bit more comfy than this. You know what? Day. Let's roll with this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this is better. Find out how much weight. What do you think, babe? Great, actually. Think of that that kid's the room up. What do you guys think of the tent? Yeah. Yeah. Support... Yeah, and the chairs great. <laughs> well guys, now that we got the tent done, we need to do a couple other things. We need to see whether we can build a fire using duct tape whether we can catch our food using duct tape, and whether we can build sleeping bags using duct tape. So far, we've used 56 rolls of duct tape. Tomorrow's gonna be a busier day though. We've got the shelter up, now it's time to get some food using duct tape. There you go, we got some extra fine duct tape cordage. Well, we're gonna try to snare some small game using duct tape. And first we've got to find the right spot. And here we have a ravine and you've got this log crossing the ravine. Anytime you have a log going across the ravine or a stream, there's going to be a lot of foot traffic across that log. Small animals like rabbits and weasels and squirrels are going to be coming across that log rather than anywhere else. And if you know where they're going to be, you can know where to set your snare. So what we've got here is we've got a little snare so that anything that tries to go across this log has to put its head through this hole. And once they go through and they get their head stuck, they start thrashing around and they go fall off the log or jump off the log, then, then they're hung. Well, I'm gonna hunt around and set up some more snares and go back to camp and we're gonna go and check these in just a little bit. There we go. Uh, the trap worked just like a charm. Now. Of course, we have videotaped how successful this trap is, but we can't show it to you because we'd be demonetized by YouTube. So yes, the trap worked perfectly. All right, we skinned and gutted the rabbit that we totally caught in our duct tape snare. Time to build a fire and get cooking. There we go. 
He's on there nice and tight. Rock salt on him, little pepper, a lot of pepper. When you're hunting and trapping in a survival situation like this, you have to use every bit of the animal to survive. So I'm gonna use this rabbit hide and a few others, which I totally caught in my duct tape snare. This is the most comfortable survival shelter I've ever built. The fur lined blanket is actually really comfy and, and nice. Hey, you want to wrap up in the, the blanket? What do you think, Tom? Is that comfy? But it smells. Tons. All right. So, yeah. And we can at least keep a couple of them. <laughs> Good night. You ready to try some rabbit? Yes, teeny bit of it. Hmm. Spicy. It has a lot of pepper on it. Yeah, it tastes like a hot dog to me. <sighs> you bit some of its butt. Yeah, bite right out of the rabbit. Then you're a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jake, you want to try it? Yeah. Here. You like the rabbit? Well, we got food and shelter taken care of, but we've got a little bit of a rainstorm coming tonight, and uh, we're going to put this thing to the test. Well, I'm just sitting here with a belly full of rabbit watching the sunset and burning up about 60 duct tape cardboard centers. <laughs> uh, this will keep me pretty warm. Well, it's been fun sitting by the fire, but it's late and it's time to get going to bed and it's just gonna be me tonight. It's not really too comfortable trying to fit multiple people in this thing. So uh, I'm just gonna sleep in it for tonight and maybe the boys will get to play in it a little bit more later. But anyway, I'm gonna go hit the sack and, and I'm gonna go hop in here. Let's see, oh, that'll work. I need a place to put my phone and stuff. There we go. Got a cell phone pocket. And place to put my glasses. It's a little nippy out, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the lights and I will see you guys in the morning. Well, it's about two in the morning. That rain I was expecting just started. I'm actually pretty cozy. <laughs> Oh, we got ourselves a leak. We got ourselves more than a few leaks. My hammock is filling up with water. Tarp on top is leaking, but the one on the bottom is not. And so I have got a, a growing puddle of water. Oh. So this is turning into a bathtub. You have to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. You know the worst part about waking up in a pool of water? Oh, I've got to pee so badly. <sighs> that was interesting. Well, it looks like there's a lot of droplets here around the edges where water's coming around the tarp. And then there's leaks. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. that is a pretty good puddle of water here. I don't really want to do any repairs in the rain. And tomorrow morning, I'm getting on a plane with Nathan, and we are going to New Mexico to do some desert camping and fishing. And then we come back and we go straight to North Carolina for a week. So it's going to be two weeks until I'm back here. And that's going to be a lot of leaves, a lot of rain. Well, we'll see what happens. 
Well, it's been two weeks, but I'm back. But it actually looks like it's in pretty good shape. Well, it's still holding my weight. Well, gosh darn it, this thing's still in really good shape despite being rained on for two weeks. I think we need to do some modifications. You need modifications! Hey, Jacob, what do you think? Is that fun? Yes. You lift it up high and then walk. Walk it you're over here. You can't go on top. I gotta do something to give a nice healthy pitch to this roof and I gotta fill up these gaps in the wall so wind and water can't get into the tent. Okay, there's been a little accident. I took a little bit of a misstep and stepped on the leg of my $300 carbon fiber tripod. Oh! All right, there we go, good as new. Well guys, I think we're done with all the improvements. No more wind and rain coming in through the sides now. And already I can tell it's a lot warmer. I'm starting to break out in a little bit of a sweat. All right, I think we're ready to camp in this thing. I'm just gonna clean up the campsite and uh, get my gear. Well guys, I was planning on camping in here, but we had a bit of a setback. A big rainstorm came in and it caused the roof to get so heavy that we had a lot of structural failure. This whole corner busted loose from the tree. It tore a hole where the stick is supporting the peak. We've got a partial failure here as well. And it put a lot of stress on the roof, which also caused some tears here. Worst of all, <laughs> it is full of water. All right, let that drain. So you've got some water in the sides too. Oh, I just didn't do a good enough job constructing the roof. Obviously, the floor has no problem holding water, so the duct tape can do it, but I wasn't as careful building the roof as I was the floor because I was worried about the floor dumping me on my butt in the middle of the night. This is really kind of sending me back to the drawing board. I, I gotta think about what to do about this, but it needs to dry out before I can do anything. Well guys, I've been mulling this over for a week now and I think there's no helping it. If I want this thing to be watertight, I've gotta cut the top and sides off and redo the roof and walls from scratch. But I'm already five weeks and 96 rolls of duct tape deep into this project. And this video is already 20 minutes long, so I don't know if I can do that in this video. But I think this project could benefit from a fresh pair of eyes. So I'd like to challenge Zachary Fowler with the YouTube channel Fowler's Makery and Mischief. Uh, I want to challenge Zach to see if he can build an awesome duct tape shelter. But if you guys want to see me try again to build something bigger, better, and watertight, make sure to click like, subscribe, and share this video. And I'll make sure to give this another crack. But thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget to click subscribe to the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. See you then. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button so 
and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching. You need me to get you down? All right, hold very no, stop. still. Please, no. oh.